let's go to my first question. You are all being accused of gang raping your friend, Christine Dacera. And I saw some of your interviews with tears and with vehemence. You deny this. If you didn't kill your friend, who did? No one did. No. no. Who wants to answer that? <laughs> Jake. Wala pong pumatay kay Christine. Accident po lahat na nangyari. Mahal po namin sa bilang kaibigan at Bilang respeto sa aming mga magulang, mga kapatid na babae, ganun yung tingin namin kay Christine kasi comfort zone kami ni, Z, ni Tin and, and if she's with us, she feels safe. So, doon pa lang, doon pa lang makikita na yung kung gano'n namin siya kinaalagaan, pinapahalagaan. Kaya hindi ko masasabi mo, ni-rape si Tin or may nagtangkang patayin si Tin. Walang okay. ganun nangyari dito, boy. Chepi, aksidente. Aksidente paano aksidente? Hindi ko po alam kung paano aksidente pero Okay, attorney. Right. The corrector is uh, natural causes. So hindi aksidente, natural causes ang tamang term. Yes. May nais nice ba kayong idagdag? Uh, because if you didn't kill her, who did? I mean that's a natural question. Or if not who did, what killed her? Well, the, ito boy, uh, the Medical legal report has already uh, said that uh, Chris, the cause of death is uh, aneurysm. So that is the, the one that uh, we are holding on to, to say that the cause of death is natural, <coughs> natural cause. There's no foul play, there's no accident that happened. Simply, it just happened naturally. Okay, I, wa I, I want to follow that up, attorney. But we might just be going ahead of the story. Pero baka makalimutan natin. Natural cause, aneurysm, ang sabi ng uh, medical legal. Alam din natin lahat, ang pinag-uusapan ngayon, ang medical legal po ay nangyari after the embalming. So may mga bagay na na-compromise, may mga bagay na hindi na nakita. So that has to be discussed among lawyers, not us. Exactly. But that is basically what people are trying to raise. But in so far as you're concerned, what you're saying is, we go by the result of the, the, the medical legal. Kasi ang dinig namin, attorney, magkakaroon daw ng forensic uh, uh, study, uh, autopsy, may pangalawang uh, pag-aaral. Ang sinasabi niyo po sa amin ay sa ngayon, habang tayo nag-uusap, and today is January 13, and we are live, ay ang pinangahawakan niyo ay yung medical legal na una. Yes. Okay. Ang question ko is, so, ang tanong doon sa who, wala, what, aksidente, ah, uh, could she have been sexually assaulted by other people in the other rooms? Like 2207 and now yung malabas yung 2009. The answer there, Gigo, is no. I I was one of the people who were invited to that party for the first time. I had some of that for the first time. Okay. And I saw how Christine was so taken care of. Um, she was very comfortable. Pero hindi yun, guys, sa 2209. What I'm trying to say is, uh, based on what we saw, uh, uh, CCTVs, uh, commentary, kwentuhan, um, siya ay bumalik ngayon ng beses doon sa 2207. My question, at only I don't know if this is even right, but it's hypothetical. Could she have been assaulted? Not necessarily in your room, but in the other rooms. Was there, is, is that possible? If, if, the multiple, if any of the multiple times she went to the room that she did get felt um, unsafe, she would have told any of us. Okay, she, she would have told you kung nangyari, and you, you would have known that dahil why, bihira yung pagkakataon na tumamid siya sa kabila ng kwake ng isa. Yes, that's why they kept on um, picking her up from the room and bringing her back. Okay, it would have been Dahil, uh, this is the elephant in the room. Could she have died? Could, could she have died due to a drug overdose? No. no. Why are you sure? For me, Tito Boy, I was very observant that night and I didn't see nor hear nor was offered any drugs, so I didn't, you know, there was no trace of it, so I think. Okay. 